Hey everyone, some of you have already seen the first part of this Pokemon series and I want to use this video to explain some things. But first things first, I'm the realist. Before you wonder, our videos will still remain in German. Only this series will remain in English. But of course there are all the usual subtitles. First of all, I would like to explain briefly the one or the other thing. Julia and I have both been huge Pokemon fans since the very first Pokemon parts on that grey clunky Game Boy. Good old times. Plus, we've both always been pretty strong at drawing. For as long as I can remember, I've been creating words in my head, making drawings and notes and then stashing them away in folders and drawers. With this Fakemon project, I want to take you inside one of my words, the Druus region. A word forgotten by most. That already sounds like the upcoming Arcoise game. Did you just stole the idea for hype? I already had the idea for this region in 2019 and started making the first sketches there. In 2020 I posted the first draft of the map and starters on reddit at r slash fakemon. So Nintendo clearly stole that idea from me. Back to topic. This region is mostly based in Scotland and Ireland, but it is not mainly based on them. There are many elements from other regions of the world that will be part of this region. I'm also a big fan of the Souls series and of course Elden Ring. So I want to do my best and create a storytelling that comes as close as possible to that. One of the most important aspects of this world to me was the concept of freedom. To give the player the opportunity to explore. There is a first version of the map but is currently being revised. As soon as it's ready there will be a separate video and we'll tell you more about the story. Therefore you should subscribe to our channel and leave a like so you don't miss out on anything. Some of you may have already noticed that the grass starter Dentia has a new type, a cane. Besides this, there will be two more new Pokemon types, Crystal and Alchemy. I summarize this for you. Arcane. This new type is something like the counterpart of Fairy. While Fairy consists of glitter and sparkle magic, Arcane is based on a more natural type of magic. This includes Druidcraft, Shamanism and Witchcraft. Crystal. This type could also be called Ore type. Amethyst, Topaz and Quartz would be some examples. As a base for this type I have taken the Crystal Onyx from the anime series that everyone wanted to have as a unique outstanding type but it never came. Alchemy. This is the third and last new type of the Druze region and in my opinion absolutely unique because it is directly related to one of the new mechanics. To get an alchemy type Pokemon you have to create it yourself. Okay. Time to talk about the starters for a moment. Let's go in order of the Pokedex and start with N tier. When designing the starter Pokemon, one of the most important things for me was that one of the starters has to be a beer, because I love beers. This grass starter is based on a beer and a fantasy creature Ant. The green mist that flows from the area between the head and the body is pure arcane energy and it feels neither warm nor cold. Instead, you can feel a kind of pulse when you come in contact with the energy. Because I already had a relatively clear picture of Inti in my head, the design process was relatively done. But there was also a beta version, which you can see here. I was not very happy with the first design and gave all the starters a redesign. Here's the final Pokédex entry of Inti. One last thing. Some really interesting suggestions came in, especially because of the abilities. After a long time of thinking about it, I decided to leave the abilities as they are. The first ability Overgrown is in all grass starters, so it should probably stay that way. If it were a standalone game, I probably would handle it that way. The second ability, Wooden Body, fits thematically very strongly and also represents the final and last evolution the way I would like it to be. Thank you for your thoughts and, and approaching me, but after a long time of thinking, I stayed with the current abilities. The second starter of the series is the Fire Pokemon Syncit. Similar to Intia, it was relatively quickly clear that one of Syncit's starters would be a deer. Originally, this Pokemon was planned as a grass starter, but then became a fire Pokemon because of Intia. Syncit is based on the most common type of deer in Scotland, the red deer. The biggest challenge with this design was that I had to work from back to front. The idea and the design principle for the last stage was already decided before I even started with the first stage. In the meantime, I often got the comment that Syncit was missing the iconic red color. I think it was mostly related to the hoodie, but this one has something to do with the final stage and later second type. Also, I took Torchic as a reference and compared the colors. This is clearly lighter and not iconic red. I think it, it's rather the red mant here that is in the later evolutions in it, as for example here with Blaziken. As well as the usual stages of evolution, it will become redder. Just like Antia, Syncit also has a beta version. And here's the final Pokedex entry of Syncit. The last of the three is the water Pokemon Quilby. After a short research, the 
just had to be a Pokemon based on a Kalpi and the position of the water starter is the optimal choice for it. While the idea came quite fast, the design was a much bigger challenge. It took close to 10 drafts before I was satisfied with the design. Separately and interestingly, the mid stage was the first stage to be design ready before everything else worked. Again, there were one or two suggested changes about the skills. There was one suggestion that I found particularly good and fitting. Therefore, the ability Rain Dish was exchanged for Swift Swim. Since there were so many drafts, there was of course also a beta version. And of course, here is the last Pokedex entry of the Water Starter Quilpy. Now you know about the starters. Which one will you take on your adventure through the Druid's region? Also, which evolution line do you want to see first? Write your opinion in the comments and we'll see us in the next video.